put new floors in it, new carpet. Tony and Lynn Wagle moved to Waco to spend their retirement, moving between their new house in town and their ranch out by Mahan. The last thing they want is to deal with never-ending repairs. It's a retirement house because we wanted small, low maintenance. <laughs> but perhaps the lowest of low maintenance homes comes from Italy. Italy, Texas, that is, where Gary Clark builds structures known around the world. Things are so energy efficient and they're needed. The other reason that we build them is because they're safe. There's not a building that we build that will ever burn because they're concrete. And because he uses concrete, he can make them in unusual shapes, but all share one thing, their domed roof. Because of the pandemic, I don't know exactly what all the, the triggers are, but monolithic constructors has never been busier. According to the New York Times, at the beginning of the coronavirus pandemic, lots of people with means bought and installed disaster shelters to help them survive whatever came our way. Well, guess which structures meet FEMA guidelines for disaster shelters? So many, lots of schools use FEMA money to build new cafeterias or gyms as giant safe rooms. We use an air form, a balloon. We inflate the balloon and then we apply insulation to the inside rebar and then make it solid with concrete and there you have it. It sounds simple but the process actually requires close supervision from engineers to make sure window and door forms get placed properly and concrete and insulation get applied to the specified thickness. These dome homes come by their strength naturally because in a dome every piece rests upon every other piece equally. But just to be sure these domes get reinforced with rebar. So you could say the secrets in the shape. Nature's perfect shape, uh, you know, the egg, it really is. Anytime you push on it, all of the stresses tend to, to equalize. And while they're practical, not everyone agrees they're beautiful. Take the Flintstone house outside San Francisco, where neighbors want a retired newspaper mogul to tear down the home she paid almost three million for. Perhaps that's why construction companies have only occasionally embraced the dome. In the housing and construction industry, it's, it's a, it takes a long time to get those wheels to change. There's not a code out there that we don't meet or exceed. That's why schools here, and especially foreign governments, like the domes. Plus, with their energy efficiency, they can just about make up the cost of the building in energy savings in a dozen years or so. But since the Wagles moved from the coast, they hardly think about disaster shelters like they used to. So this is the right size for you for now. Perfect, perfect, because we don't have to do much. Clark points out, though, in a dome home like this one with, what else, a circular drive, she might have even less to do. In Italy, Dennis Turner, 25 News.